Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. And for today's video, <laughs> I'm willing to bet a lot of you came just to hear what type of stuff I'm gonna say. But at the very least, I want to go over and talk about real quick the whole global versus JP, like global festival thingamajigger that they have going on right now. Primarily because of the fact there's a lot of, uh, a lot of mixed feelings going around about it right now. Most of them not being good either. So at the very least, I figured I'd go over and give my thoughts about it as well. Whether or not I think it's fair, it's unfair. Uh, and then go into a little bit more specifics as to like, you know, the 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 juicy kind of drama that has been going on uh, in terms of Square Enix's part. But without further ado, let's get started. Uh, so before I can actually get into talking about the actual stages and whether or not they're fair or not fair and then give kind of more of my own individual insight as to the whole thing as well. I just want to say I think it's already off to a bad start when I have to say that I have to start off this video with presenting you guys a notice from the JP version of the game because simply because of the fact that we were not given any sort of notice like this in the global version of the game. And I'll give a little bit more of my own individual thoughts about this a little bit later. But nonetheless, it's already become a problem just straight from the get-go that the fact that JP gets a notice uh, giving him a complete description or at least a much more complete description than what we have uh, describing what the whole event is going to be about, uh, what to look forward to as to how the, each of the actual stages are going to be gone, gone about as well as even like dates and stuff. All right. Um, and like I mentioned before, this is from the JP version of the game and it's just translated with the Google Chrome translator right now. The fact that JP straight from the get-go got an announcement showing this right here showing what each of the stages are and global didn't to me that's already already something infuriating to like look at and think about but anyways i'll touch on that a little bit later in the video so first of all starting with stage one and we actually just completed this uh a f like a few days ago or so it was the whole uh raid week event that we had going on with jp in which the whole point of the event was that the version of the game that farmed the most lux won the event now, in terms of what I consider fair or not fair between the two versions of the game for this stage, overall, I was already initially concerned about balancing issues before the event even got started. But at least in terms of fairness, this is what I have to think about stage one. To be honest, I actually kind of expected and saw stage one to be the most fair stage um, out of all the stages that I'm aware of from the JP announcement. Um, solely because of the fact that as we know, like the whole point of stage one was to see which side of the game can grind the most lux. However, okay, each version of the game kind of has their own pros and cons. The advantages for the JP version of the game were obviously the fact that they have more access to better metals currently in the game for them anyways, as well as they have some better resources, access to resources for like skills and like uh, mirrors and brooms and all that good stuff compared to global. However, the advantage that global had and still has right now is the fact that we just severely outnumber JP players by like a ton. But at the same time, JP players are also super competitive. So in my eyes, I kind of I kind of thought that, you know, this this might actually kind of balance itself itself out a little bit just from the way it is. Um, as long as they stick to the word and they don't bring in double lux times, <laughs> you know, it would pretty much be fair. And like I would, whether or not whichever was side one, I would be okay with because like it, it was like a good game. And for those of us that were expecting global to win simply because of the fact we just severely outnumbered JP, you also got to keep in mind that a lot of people outside of Japan still play the Japanese version. Um, alongside the global version as well or just the jp version too so you even have people from overseas to play the jp version of the game which helps their like population size as well so that combined with their competitive spirit as well as their extra access to better metals and resources um, versus our just sheer number in size and I, I would like to think that global is also pretty competitive too i was expecting it to be a kind of you know fairly even match at the very least so stage one i believe is probably the most fair out of all the stages so far for stage two and this is actually the stage that we're currently going in right now at the time i was making this video it is uh, all about whether or not who can clear the most amount of missions within the union cross mode of the game stage two i believe is just a complete complete disadvantage for JP like it's just not even fair for JP 
and that is just simply because of the fact that there's just way more people who play Gobel compared to the Japanese version of the game. And in terms of a competition mode where it's all about who can clear the most number of missions within Union Cross, that is practically screaming for Global to win, to be honest. Even just looking at the in-game screen score count within the game, it shows at the time of making this video that Global has about 545,000 clears, whereas Japan uh, barely has a little bit more than half of that. It's kind of, it, it's, it's kind of sad to look at that, especially because of the fact that a lot of people don't really like playing Union Cross mode too much. It's really boring. And quite honestly, a lot of people are just not even like trying in Union Cross. They're just trying to complete as many of the boards as possible and they're just quitting. I'm one of those people too. I'm just like, bro, I don't care about this. I'm just looking to complete the boards and boom, that's it. All right. And even then we're still like, severely outdoing jp which which is kind of which kind of sucks and makes me feel bad for the uh the jp players uh so in that regard i just see stage two as a complete straight up disadvantage towards the jp version of the game uh, and i feel bad for them to do so now in terms of stage three this one i'm actually a little bit confused about uh it might just be the translation from google chrome i don't know but it states that stage three is gonna be another raid event which i find kind of gross because I don't really want to raid again like almost two weeks in a row but this time they state that in order to win it's a target lux challenge and they also state to the side here that it's going to be a combat battle so I'm I'm not really too sure what exactly this means to be honest I'm willing to guess that this means that there's going to be a set of amount of lux as like a goal for each version of the game to reach to and whichever version of the game reaches that goal first will win the stage almost like a race this time for a certain number of lux rather than like who can earn the most it's just a race to reach the certain amount that would be my goal but i don't really understand what it means by combat battle i know some people are speculating maybe it's pvp i don't really see how they would go about doing that in terms of pvp i also think it would be uh it might even be a little bit unfair for pvp because of the fact that uh, jp does have more access to better metals and resources like i mentioned before than we do so it's uh it's it's i'm not really too sure about stage three to be honest okay so now let's go over everything that's happened that really pissed off a lot of people and i'll give some of my own stuff too okay so starting off kind of like how i mentioned before jp was the only version of the game to get a notice talking about at all whatsoever as to the actual uh, how the stages were going to go the times they were going to happen what we could expect each stage to be like um, as well as we even got an idea for JP anyways, I have no idea if Global even gets this, uh, is that a Jules gift will be rewarded depending on the results of the event. Do you guys know what Global got in terms of an announcement? Quite literally, the only announcement we got about the festival at all was within the first stage uh, when it first came out. So this is it right here. And it shows, you know, Global Festival first stage. Ooh, okay, interesting face off against the Japanese version of the game to see who can earn the most lux. Awesome. What else is there to know? Uh, they talk about the the raid event. This is the first stage of the global first of all, where both versions of the game are competing. Uh, whichever wins the most lux will earn will win fabulous rewards. Notice how they didn't mention jewels at all this time, which I find very uh very questionable. Uh so do your part and aim for the top. And they even noted below, I, I want to believe that this part actually got edited solely because of the fact that I am pretty confident that it originally said that in order to be fair between both versions of the game, like they straight up actually used the phrase to be fair, they would say uh, there will be no bonus times offered in either version. That's all we got for stage one. In terms of stage two, it's pretty much almost the exact same thing, to be honest. All right. If we look at stage two, oh, hey, yeah, just a reminder, we're, we we are competing with JP, okay? Because, you know, we, we made sure to put it in bright orange text for you too. compete with the Japanese version of the game to see if you can get the most clears. All right. And the only other thing they mentioned about it is in order to keep the competition fair between both versions of the game, this event will not feature extra hard boss times. Like to, to me, to me, it's just absolutely mind boggling that they're willing to and completely okay with but they're just completely okay with the fact that they're they're not even willing to give us the same amount of information as the japanese uh community all right like to me that's just completely mind-boggling i don't understand it whatsoever I, and i don't know about you guys but to me it's almost a little bit borderline 
uh, disrespectful and insulting in a way because it, it almost feels like they're looking down on us a little bit. It, it just feels like they're withholding information from us for no reason and I don't understand why. I don't know, I don't know about you, but for me, I grew up with common courtesy stating that if you're going to have a competition, ex especially if you're trying to play it off as being a, like a fair competition or whatnot in the first place, um, which you kind of already f messed up on and I'll get to that in a sec. But at the very least, the most basic thing you can do to be fair in any competition to all of parties involved is to just literally give them the same information uh needed to do the event or at least know uh, everything to do an event you make sure you give everyone the same amount of information so that way it's actually fair okay quite realistically technically because of the fact they didn't tell global about any of this like literally this post right here this is not in the global version of the game at all technically because of that global doesn't have anything remotely like this we're left in the dark the only reason we even know there's three stages in the first place or like what the stages are going to even be about or the fact that jewels might even be involved is quite literally because of the jp version of the game and to me that is a completely terrible system if i have to actually rely on a different version of the game just to know what the heck is going on like that to me that's just mind-boggling and doesn't make any sense at all whatsoever just by seeing this straight off the back i already kind of uh was a little bit distrustful in square enix and how they're going to be handling this event not gonna lie all right uh, and that is not even touching what happened in stage one as many of you might be aware of at this point in time already uh in which case if you happen to not be aware of at this point uh what ended up happening is and i can't i can't find the post anymore talking about this i'm assuming they got deleted or something but originally what happened was the fact that because of the fact that we were beating jp we in global were pretty much like okay nice we got a we got a pretty decent lead hopefully uh we can maintain this and jp doesn't catch up okay that was what was going on and then from that point onwards square enix just decided to give the jp version of the game a four day uh lux boost without our knowledge at all whatsoever they, they literally just gave it to jp uh didn't bother to tell global about it at all whatsoever didn't bother to give reasons for it at all whatsoever either it was pretty much just like oh hey jp in order to help you catch up all right here's some double lux boost for four days straight okay for four hours every day for four days straight i cannot begin to tell you guys the amount of outrage that happened once once we found out about this i don't really understand what square enix was thinking when they thought like they they were gonna give it to jp like did did they honestly think that like we were just not gonna know find out about this i don't think they completely understand that a lot of people out overseas play the japanese version of the game too and in that regards as well i wouldn't doubt it if maybe there's even some Japanese people in Japan who play the global version of the game instead as well. I wouldn't doubt if that happens to be a thing. But it was primarily because of the fact that they straight up went completely against their own word about, to be fair, in both the domestic and overseas version of the game, there will be no bonus lux t times for the event, okay? They straight up went against that. And that just created a downhill effect from there where literally everybody in global just got so heated i myself included i was like that that is complete bs uh and because of the fact that square enix even bothered doing that uh just tells us as players a lot of things about square enix that just makes me not want to trust them anymore honestly and and like you can already see it right now online but like no one just tr no one trusts on it anymore for the rest of this competition uh, simply because of the fact, uh, just simply because of that, we can't we can't keep this word we can't keep their word. I forgot to mention it as well, but because of the fact that they don't even bother telling Global about what rewards we can look forward to if we win. Okay, there's a really really nice meme that's going around right now, and it's absolutely hilarious because it's so accurately true as to how we feel towards Square Enix at this point and what we can even expect. Uh, from them at this point either um, and, it, and it's kind of sad but it's also good it's honestly a good representation of how uh, the global players feel like we get treated uh, a majority of the time uh, and the meme says right here and this was a twitter this was a little short twitter snippet uh, conversation within the comment section uh, and it says what's the reward if we win the global versus jp lux event and then donald over here bless donald he says if jp wins they get 5,000 jewels if we win, we get a Huey, Dewey, Louie medal and JP still gets 5,000 jewels, okay? It's kind of sad, but quite honestly, 
the fact I can even say that I honestly would not be surprised if something like this actually were to happen anyways. Like, t to me, that just reflects poorly on how on the management of Square Enix on their part um, and how they're treating both versions of the game. But anyways, in that regards for stage one, not only did they then uh, give the double lux for four days to JP version of the game, uh, everyone in Global got super heated and pissed off. And I honestly have no doubt we basically scared uh, Square Enix more or less to basically like reconsider everything I'm like oh crap okay uh let's uh let's do damage control real quick and then they decided to give us the 24 hour lux boost on the sunday that we got it okay. just the fact they brought lux boost into it in the first place already made it unfair um by giving it to jp it made it unfair for global and so because the fact they gave it to jp for four days they're like okay on the last day we'll give it to global for 24 hours. That right there was another mistake on their part because then it's unfair for JP because we basically got an extra eight hours of Lux grinding. For those of you unaware as well, uh, there's actually another layer of why that was just even significantly more worse and stacked against the JP version of the game as well. Uh, which is that for JP, sure, they got four days worth of four hours each day of a double lux boost okay however for them to actually take advantage of that they have to actually have coordinated parties uh where they can all boost at the same time during those hours and grind as much lux all right that's what they had to do for us though like we didn't have to do that at all by giving us a 24 hour lux boost that right there just spelled death <laughs> for JP. And you guys can see it right now in the scorings as well. Like we just severely crushed JP after that last day. They have to coordinate in order to get take advantage of that Lux boost, right? Their individual parties have to coordinate and not everybody can do that. But because of fact Global got a 24 hour version of the game, in a way that basically almost said to Global, oh hey, don't worry about coordination with your party. It's 24 hour Lux boost. Let's all form all day for 24 hours and that right there in a way was like sure we may not have been coordinated for our parties but it was actually worse against JP because now we were actually coordinated as an entire community <laughs> uh, to just farm like at the same time against JP it was just not gonna end well uh, either way um, and Square Enix just severely messed up. The fact that we're not being told what's happening, uh, then Square Enix has to go behind our backs and try and be shady and give JP an advantage. Um, and it's only after we create such a huge uproar uh, that they have to like double back and give us an advantage too, which ends up just hurting JP version of the game even more. Like to me, like that that was just all kinds of wrong. But to be honest, I won't be surprised if they still try and do something. I like I've already lost I've already lost my trust <laughs> in in them for that. But other than that, that was it for today, guys. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed the episode. I do enjoy giving my perspective as to the type of things that are going on within the game. Um, and I wish I could do this more often. But at the least, let me know what your thoughts are about it as well in the comment section down below. Uh, do you agree or disagree with what I said? Is there anything else you would like to add? Uh, but other than that, my name is Brian from Kinemar Team Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.